Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know I upload two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But with that out of the way, thank you for clicking on my video and joining me. We're returning to Tears of the Kingdom today, and we're going to start out this episode by doing the shrine in Koron City. We'll see how this goes. A lot of these shrines are very embarrassing for me, because I uh, frequently fail, or, yeah, just miss things that should be very obvious. Try to do them in a lot more roundabout hard ways. Okay, wield wonders. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we got... Looks like a bridge that we're gonna need to attach, maybe. Anything, any hidden things up here, any chests? Okay, it appears not. Okay, now that one was easy enough. Now we have some wheels mixed into it. Hoping. Let's see. Maybe I can grab a different part. Can I grab this? Okay. Can I just jump across? That is definitely not how the game probably wanted you to solve that, but if it works, it works. Should probably heal up a bit. That's probably the least creative way to solve that problem. What is this up here for? Oh, okay. I guess to get back in case. Maybe you messed something up. Damn, am I supposed to make some type of vehicle?
Can I ride on it and power it? Let's see how this reverse work. Strong construct bow. Guess we'll drop this weak boy. Okay, what is going on with these things? Let me guess, do I attach that like a plow to the front of this?
attach it to this. Maybe it works better just on its own. friend is actually playing uh, Zelda right now and he's just texting me about it. So I was replying to him really quick, but I will save that for after I finish my video. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of people to talk to in this town, so let's go see what's going on. Can I break these? First, the most important thing, can I break stuff? Okay. Well, that woman said to stay away from people eating this, but you're not getting a single bite of this. And don't you dare touch the Tower of Marbled Rock Roast in the city center either. I already called dibs. These guys are munching. There's another one of these statues. Okay. Hey, fella. What are you thinking strolling into this war zone? You must have seen the poop where of Goron's gone wild for Primo Red Rock headline in the paper, right? What headline? Huh, you're kidding me. Don't you read the papers? Here, let me give you a sample of this peerless reporting. Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron city-bound travelers should exercise caution. And you see who wrote that? Me. Doma, reporter extraordinaire. What? You've never heard of me? Eh, but that's yesterday's news. Time is money and I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back on the trail of the great mystery. It's something so secret that nobody has figured it out. Cough. Hey, now's the part where you're supposed to ask the great mystery. The great mystery. Ah, oh, geez, I hate to let this slip, but since you want to know so badly, I guess I can let you in on it. We all know Gorons live underground way back when, but the particulars are still a total mystery, a great one even. All we know is the place's name, Gorondia. And you're lucky to even get that. Ask most Gorons and they'll, they'll tell you they don't know a thing. But am I gonna let that stop me? No, because I'm an awesome reporter. I'm going to get to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. 
Sonoma's Guide to the Unknown is going to fly off the shelves. Time to start practicing my signature. Am I going to get a quest from that? Is this little baby Goron? He said that he'd make minecart land. Django is a liar. Django. I don't know you. Django told me I shouldn't talk to people I don't know. All he does now is eat marbled rock roast. He'll never make minecart land. I don't really know you. He said that everything about minecart land is still a secret. Don't go blabbing about it. What if I don't say anything? Even if hot springs make my body feel good, they don't make my heart feel good. I wonder if the hot springs would heal me. Okay, let's see. You gotta be kidding me. Give me a break. That alien blondie had me making the weirdest stuff. She said it was a simple mask, but it looked funny to me. And she had me make it with an odd material. At the time, my apprentice, Fugo, kept me say, kept saying he wanted to be a smithy like me. But now all he talks about is marble to rock roast. He won't so much as show his face around here anymore. Dang, a nabbit. And it was finally time for me to pass along the secret of our trade, how to make the boulder breaker. Boulder breaker. Uh, customer. Sorry, Bob. I'm a smithy, not a shopkeeper. My focus is on the boulder breaker right now. The art of crafting such a beaut has been passed down through the ages. Only a chosen few can make it. It's a historical weapon, and making it is an absolute honor. Here, I thought I'd be teaching my apprentice Fugo to make it, but the fool's obsessed with that marbled rock rose stuff. It's all he cares about anymore. I told him to shove off right in the middle of work. I'm done with him. I want to know how to make the rock breaker, the boulder breaker, whatever it's called. Are there any hints in here? Can I break his stuff? I cannot. Set the boulder breaker right there. Hey, Bob, keep your hands off of that. Hey, Fugo, get this guy out of here. Oh, that's right, he's not here now. Anyway, that hunk of junk is still a work in progress. It's fragile, so don't touch it. Well, let's see what it is with my handy dandy, handy dandy camera. There's the boulder breaker. I think those are in the last game. It looks familiar. Let's see who else we can talk to. Also, let's see if we can find that fireproof, uh, fireproof clothing they sell here. What is this place? I wonder if I put something there, if it activates stuff. Okay, well, I definitely need to go check that out at some point. Am I going to say marble the rock roast in this video? 
we don't see many strangers around here. I gotta tell ya, if marbled rock roast is popular among the kids, well, so be it. But they're losing their heads over it. Tricking travelers into forking over rupees and dropping work for more of them rocks. Goron City used to be such a nice place. We elders can't eat marbled rock roast, so we're stuck watching things fall apart. Excuse my jabbering, so you stay in here. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A Goron massage. New to the art of Goron massage, are ya? That's okay. First time for everything, as they say. A Goron style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze out all the tension. That's right. It doesn't hurt one bit, mostly. I tell ya, I even doze off sometimes. Afterwards, you'll sleep like a rock, and you'll feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. Careful out there. Maybe later I'll come back for a massage. I was gonna make a joke about happy endings, but I refrained. Can I catch this lizard? This looks like some type of shop. That person selling gems. Goron Spice. I could probably use some more arrows, but I want to see how much the armor is first. Sell them for high and buy them for low, I always say. That's how it should be. Customer, don't you go listening in on me now. Pluto told me to keep prices as they are so I can't rip anyone off. what I tell you? Quit nosing on me. Buy my stuff. Do I even have anything to sell? I have enough flint. Oh wait, that's not flint, is it? No, it's aluminum stone. I do have enough flint to uh, have that guy eat it. Okay, I guess I don't really have anything to sell. Where is the guy that would sell the armor? She's still on. I don't have any dope ass. Sapphires. 300 a piece, damn. This is a shop. Another empty Goron hole. Oh, nice, I see a clothing icon. And then I can chat up some of these Gorons down here. That big one in the center probably has something to say. This is gonna be expensive, I bet. Oh my god, I thought it was going to be like two or three hundred, twelve hundred for just the pants. Seven hundred, oh my god. Holy crap. This guy cut me a deal. Customer, only reason I'm still running this place is because boss Pluto will get mad if I close up shop. If I had it my way, I'd quit and live out my days covered in a massive pile of beautiful marbled rock roast. God, his, his face does not look happy. There's something going on with this rock roast. Okay, let's see what this big guy has to say. Crane, not you too, and after all my warning about the marbled rock roast. So everyone's acting funny because because of the marbled rock roast that President Unipo is mining. What are you mumbling about over there? Is this going to be the president? Oh, 
Uh-oh, there's Preston Unibo. That's quite the outfit he's wearing. He's going to be a fan of me. What could I want? Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even noticed you. Well, that was unnecessarily rude. Unibo, what's the big idea talking like that to our esteemed guest? Pluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Slurgo, tell me who runs Goron City these days. Uniboko. And Ofrak, who's in charge of Uniboko. You are President Unibo. You hear that blun Bluto? Pluto. Probably Pluto. You hear that Pluto? You're not needed around here anymore. You think I'm gonna sit here and So Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange goings on. Princess Zelda, I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing. I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers after all. It's a bit of a creepy comment, and why are blonde locks highlighted? Locks, does that mean hair? Oh, oh, the lady with the hair like that. She's the same one President Unibo talks to about marbled rock roast. Pipe down, you do. You'll keep your trap shut if you know it's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda. You better shove off. I've got to get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Unibo, I swear if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll... Ugh. My aching back. Stodgy old guy sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slurgo, off rack. Time to head back to Unibo HQ. Oh, that guy. He used to be just a kid following me around crying boss this and boss that. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Uniboco, a group of Gorons who worked the mines. Once they started digging up that marbled rock roast, Unibo and all the youngsters changed. Changed. You heard me, changed. All due to that strange marbled rock roast Unibo dug up. Now all the youngsters just sit around eating it instead of working. Why, some of them are even running scams trying to get more marbled rock roast. Oh my god, I, I must have said marbled rock roast a hundred times this video. There's no way he can't see what's a messy... Oh my god. There's no way he can't see what a mess we're in with it. But he keeps playing dumb. If it weren't for my damn spine, I'd march right into Uniboco and give Unibo a piece of my mind. But HQ isn't a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I'd have to go through the northern mining site. Arg. In this condition, I can't even ride a cart. What to do? Do I need to go there, or do I need to figure out a way to get him there? Okay, not a whole term to say. God, this guy's back. Okay, should I just bite the bullet and buy some more arrows? I think I probably should. How many do I have? 23. Okay. 
Okay, that's the inn. That's the clothing store. I think I'm pretty good on fire fruit. Guess I'll take them all. Being an adventurer isn't cheap. But I think I will wrap up the video here. In the next one, we will continue to explore Goron City. See if there's any other side quests to pick up and then Looks like we're heading to Uniboco. So, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and found it relaxing. If you're watching it to fall asleep, I hope you're not hearing this. And if you are, feel free to click on the video thumbnail that'll be popping up right about now to watch another one of my videos to hopefully help you fall asleep. But as always, I hope I see you in the next one. Good night and goodbye.